I designed this whole four play scheme with one idea in mind. Beat man coverage every single time. This scheme is gonna be run out of gun bunch open offset. The first play is gonna be out of sprint Z spot. This is my favorite play in the scheme because it attacks every level of the defense and can even bomb man coverage for a one play touchdown. The second play is gonna be run out of Y trail. This play is amazing attacking the middle of the field at different levels of the defense and it can also beat the D for a one play TD. The third setup is flood. It is great at attacking man and zone coverage and is our go-to play in this scheme. If our opponent is starting to switch up their their defensive calls between man and zone. Then the fourth play is RPO alert trap screen. And this is amazing at keeping the defense spread out for our trap up the middle. But this screen on the outside also works amazing to pick up chunk yardage against man coverage. Now you don't have to use them, but I designed this scheme with these abilities in mind. At QB, we want a throwing ability, whether that is set feet lead, pass lead elite or gunsling. Now this is just gonna allow you to have better zip on the football and allow you to throw it into tighter windows. Then for the middle player in our bunch, this is always gonna be our tight end and I put short in elite on this player. Now this is gonna allow him to get great separation on posts and corner routes against man coverage in this scheme. Then lastly, we want route tech on the inside player on our bunch. Now once again, this is a route running ability that is gonna allow him to get easy separation against man no matter what route he is running. Now for this scheme, we're going to be working out of my Oregon Ducks spread offense out of the spread playbook. Now if you want to see everything else out so far for this Oregon offense that you can pair with this man beating scheme, I'll leave a link in the description down below to check all that out. And then if you really want to unlock the whole rest of this offense and take it to the next level, combine this man beating scheme with everything else, you really should check out my membership page. I have a ton more premium content to really allow you to unlock this whole offense. This is by far the most complete in-depth offense I have ever put out. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to my membership down in the description below. All right, guys. So we're going to look at sprint Z spot first. Now the adjustments for this play, we always want our bunch to the wide side of the field for any of these setups. So bunch the wide side on a hash if we can. Now the adjustments for this play, super, super simple. We want to take the outside player in the bunch and put him on a whip route. Then we wanna take the inside player on the bunch and put him on a slant. That is it, it is that easy, very, very simple setup. Now, how we like to read this play, guys, or how I like to read it, is I like to read the underneath two routes first. So I'm gonna read the whip, and then the slant, and basically we're just looking at the user. Almost never the user is gonna get out to the whip, so most of the time, if they don't have hard flats, if they're not shading underneath, I'm gonna throw the whip, but you also can throw the slant over the middle. So let's take a look at this first. So right here, we have no press, we have no you know shade underneath. So this whip is gonna get open basically every time and we can just fire that away. Then we see the slant in the middle of the field. This is really gonna hold the user in the middle of the field a ton, but if he starts to get over aggressive on the post in the middle, jumps out to the wide side of the field, we can also take the slant. But fire it into this whip right away, just like that, rack, catch it, get up field, and you know, that's an easy, easy gain. Okay, then the second route I really love, guys, is this Z post. So this post here, really, we wanna call this if we see no safeties back, especially if they have no safety on this side of the field, we wanna really fire this away. If they have a middle safety, sometimes he'll be able to take it away, but right here we see no safeties deep on this side of the field, so if we have time in the pocket, if they're not bringing a heavy blitz, we wanna fire this away. So right here, boom, we look. They are bringing a bit of a blitz, but we're able to pick it up. It looks like he gets stuck on his lineman maybe, so we have enough guys we pick everything up so now we're just gonna buy some time wait for this z post and fire it away for like an 80 yard touchdown these z post guys forced inside release if there's no safeties back you get any separation fire it up okay let's run it again now we look safety on this side of the field but no safety here so that lets me see so yeah this guy's dropping back but he is nobody on this side of the field no blitz so we know we're gonna have time in the pocket we see that Z post break, no safety help, 
fire that away for another like 60 yard bomb. Okay, then the last route we really like here, guys, is this corner route. Now this corner route, especially when we have short in elite on our receiver out here is gonna absolutely toast man covered. So really we wanna go to this. If we see multiple safeties back and we don't like our underneath options, then this corner route is basically gonna be open every single time because really the only thing that is gonna take this away is if they have a flat defender dropping out underneath this or if the user runs out there, you know, users it himself. So right here, watch this route guys and watch our, our route running ability activate. So right here we see him activate as he cuts to the sideline, easy to four to five yards of separation, fired in for a 26 yard touchdown. Okay, same thing right here, boom, look to the corner route. It looks like I forgot to put this player on a whip, but really we're looking at the corner route here. Watch his route running ability activate. When we see it activate guys, we just wanna fire that out four to five yards of separation and that is just stealing. Okay, now we're looking at Y trail. So really we're only doing one adjustments, kind of two. So we the one adjustment we do every time, no matter what, we wanna take this outside player on the bunch once again and we wanna put him on a slant. Then our stock, our running back is on a little swing to the outside. Now, if they're blitzing, I like to block my running back. But if they, if we don't think they're blitzing, if they haven't been blitzing, then we actually want to bring this player out because on this play, we see we have three different routes attacking the middle of the field. So we really want to get everyone. If they're not bringing a blitz, we want to force the linebacker who's ever covering this player out of the box. So we just really want to open up the middle of the field unless they're blitzing block the running back. So right here, guys, our first reads are going to be the slant over the middle, then this outside release slant in behind it. So this is going to be kind of a layered slant concept in the middle of the field. So that's what we're looking for right away. So first we're going to look for the first slant coming in. So right here, boom, we see this player misses his jam. They really struggle with getting good jams in this bunch, this condensed formation. He blows the jam right here. We have about four to five yards of separation. You're just going to fire that in over the middle, get up field for a really nice game. Then look once again. So right here, we see the running back going out. We want to bring players out of the middle of the field. So we look at the first slant. The first slant gets jammed. He doesn't get separation. So now we look at the back slant. His route running ability activates and he gets four to five yards of separation. We also see the users playing over top of this slant. So this is just going to be a layered concept. If they go to the front slant, we go to the back slant. If they jump the back slant, we look to the front slant. Fire that in, rack catch, get up field, 15 yard gain. Okay, the other thing we love here, guys, is this post route. Once again, we're having a route running ability on this tight end. He's gonna get great separation. And this is really our one play, big play capability in this play. Now, if we think about the last play we went over, we had the Z post coming from this solo side receiver. So that forced them to have a safety on this side of the field. Now with this setup, we have a post going to the short side of the field. We are gonna force them to have a safety on the other side of the field. So we're forcing them to have two safeties back by using these plays in unison. If not, we can bomb them over the top. So right here, we see no safeties back. We see Evan Engram, we see right there, boom. Route running ability activates. He's gonna get nice separation there. He tries to animate, get a pick, no chance. Rack, catch it, gone for a 50 yard touchdown. Then right here, we see single high. Now this play is actually gonna work against single high also. So we see right here, route running ability activates four to five yards of separation. Now, all we wanna do here, guys, is we can throw this post as soon as he clears that middle defender. So once he clears that middle, you know, middle post uh, deep blue defender, we can just fire that in at the catch point, four to five yards of separation, rack catch, get up field, and we get an absolutely massive gain on the play. Okay, then the last route is this comeback route on the outside. So if we really just don't, they're really loading the middle of the field. The user really does a good job of taking everything away. We don't love it. Then we have this comeback route. These you have to throw on time. You can't throw them late or they will get picked off. But if you throw right when they break out towards the sideline, get that timing in as a fourth option. It is really nice to have. Okay, then lastly, I want to talk about this outside player here. Now this you can really work in with any of these setups, but I wanted to focus it on on this play. So if we ever see they play press man coverage and they start to shade underneath. Now what that is going to happen, that's really going to help take away our slant routes. Any of our whip routes, they are going to be plastered all over. So if you notice they're taking away the slants, taking away the whips, 
and they're pressing, all you have to do is put this solo receiver, if they have no um, safety help over the top, put them on a fade, and now when they jam and then they transition, they're actually going to lose separation here. And right here we have these posts, everything coming to the middle of the field. The user is going to bail. And now you can just bomb them over the top. You're going to get two to three yards of separation basically every time. Okay, now we're looking at flood. So the only adjustment we need for flood is we want to take the tight end and put them on a whip. Now, this is really going to be our go-to play if they're alternating between man and zone. Now, I designed this whole scheme to go against people who are, you know, spamming man coverage. If they are playing man coverage every single play, this is the scheme we want to use. But now we start to beat them like they're starting to, you know, okay, I'm not sure if they're going to run man. I'm not sure if they're going to run zone. Now we have to have options, you know, a play that works really good against both. So this is going to be our go-to for that. And I like it because we're really attacking the sideline here, making the user help. And if he does, then we have something attacking the middle of the field. So really simple, guys. First read, we're going to look to the whip underneath, just like the other plays. Whips are so good if they're not shaded underneath. Boom. Once he cuts back to the outside side fire it in rack catch get up field really nice game okay the next i like this inside player on this corner out guys and this is great because once again we have route tech on this on this player so if they have no help on the outside if this is just solo man coverage with no deeper flat defenders this is gonna basically get open every single time so right here boom right here right after break we just want to fire that in once again, like five yards of separation. This is third and 18. Fire that in for like a 22 yard game. And man coverage. And once again, our third read. So now we look at the user here, guys. He's jumping to this side of the field. So what do we have? Now we have this dig route coming into the middle. So the user's leaving. All the flow is going to this side of the field. We have the dig coming in backside. Digs are really good against man coverage. Fire that in, first down on second and 11. Okay, now against zone guys, really we want to read it basically the same way. We're going to have the whip, we're going to have a clear out route, then we're going to have the deep post, dig backside. So we're really going to read it the same way though. If there's nobody in the hard flats, take your whip. If they're playing hard flats, look to your dig. If they're overloading this side of the field, the user leaves to help. Then we want to attack the middle of the field with the dig route. So right here, let's run it. Boom. So the other thing with this corner route, guys, this corner route does a great job of getting behind deep zone drop. So right here, they're actually double flatting. So they have a hard flat here. They have a second flat defender here. And then their deep zone player is here. So this player set it, I don't know, at like 15, 20 yards. And look at our corner route. Get in behind them. We have a clear out route. And we're able to fire that in two feet down for a 30 yard touchdown against a double you know double flat defender okay then right here look to the outside again boom so right here we have hard flats kind of taking that away we see the user jumping to our corner route so now once again everybody's leaving the middle of the field wait for this dig to replace the user fire in that dig against zone coverage okay and then our last play is going to be run out of our trap alert screen pass on the outside now this play absolutely just wrecks against man guys it eats it is so nice because we're really going to force the defense to stay spread out that is going to open up our trap on the inside but this screen pass absolutely kills man coverage now watch this guys you're really going to read it look out here if you don't see them firing down right away on the screen we're just going to fire that in even though it's three on three we still like our odds so right here boom what we're going to see is these players even if they're pressed they don't fire down right away they actually stop and kind of wait for these two screens and now what we can do we can fire it into this guy's hands and you actually use these two screeners almost like a screen in basketball they don't even have to block these players but you just hold them inside now you get to the outside with this screen pass there's nobody helping on the outside and we're gone for a 45 yard touchdown here it is running it the other way guys and watch this boom watch how everyone just stops here they're not even firing down and attacking the blockers they don't engage with the blockers till this play player actually catches it. Once he catches it, now these three players come down. But watch this, we can pin all these players inside. This player actually is able to block both of these players at once, keep this player on the inside, and boom, we get to the outside and we're gone for a 50 yard touchdown against man coverage. And then we still have a really nice RPO on the inside, guys, if you don't want to throw it out. So boom, look, once again, 
the see how these players aren't attacking out here they're just dropping back so we still could have thrown this but i look here and i have a really nice hole for our uh, trap get up field guys this trap i i think i'm averaging like 10 yards per carry with this trap it is absolutely unreal 70 yard touchdown then last one here guys so right here i think this was zone but once again look at the screen on the outside it is wide open it is consistently very open but we're just going to run our trap really nice blocking getting to the second level juke that guy out and we get a nice you know 12 to 13 yard run you are going to make man coverage almost impossible to call with this scheme but if you want to see how you can be any coverage in madden 22 for a one play touchdown you need to check out this video right here